Prince Harry ordered to stand up to Meghan Markle over latest royal family controversy. Prince Harry has been ordered to put his foot down and stand up to wife Meghan Markle following the backlash and row over whether they are becoming too political. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have faced a backlash following a video they made reminding Americans of the importance of voting. The Duke and Duchess have been criticized by many for appearing to become overly political and some have interpreted their words as an endorsement for presidential candidate Joe Biden. Royal commentators Dan Wooden and Don Neeson reflected on this and argued Harry should insist that Bear remain politically neutral. Speaking on talk radio, Mr. Wooten said, I say that for the moment Prince Harry remains the obedient, nodding wannabe first man. He is chipping in on Meghan Markle's pet projects with perfectly scripted wokeism British princely charm. But what happens when Prince Harry actually stands up to Meghan for the first time? What happens when Harry says no Meghan I am actually going to put the sanctity of the institution that I was brought up in first? I actually shudder to think what would happen because I can't imagine Meghan would take it very well. Ms Neesom admitted that she thought it was unlikely Harry would stand up to Meghan on the issue of becoming too political. She added, do you think it is going to happen, Dan? He is never going to stand up to her. He is the very definition of a henpecked husband. I never wanted to say this and I wanted to think it was six of one and half a dozen of the other. Mr. Wooden closed by insisting that he believes that both Harry and Meghan are as bad as each other. In the speech, both Harry and Meghan reiterated the importance of voting in the upcoming November presidential election. Meghan said, every four years, we are told the same thing that this is the most important election of our lifetime but this one is. When we vote our values are put into action and our voices are heard. Prince Harry added, this election, I am not going to be able to vote in the US. But many of you may not know I have not been able to vote in the UK my entire life. As we approach this November it is vital we reject hate speech, misinformation and online negativity.